Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing three, three layouts in my six by eight story album. Um, two are for our story album, like family, and then one is gonna go into my all about me one. So for the first one I am doing is this photo of me, my sister, and my mom. Oh, and I have like my little diamond zots everywhere. And I'm going to use the back side of this because this is a blank spot in my book because I have to use this little confectionery shaker element because of this side that had the ice cream truck and everything. So with this one, I thought these colors could go well with this bright photo and then talk about, um, <clears throat> and then I pulled some cards. Yeah, so I pulled all these cards thinking that they can go. I like this blue one. So, and then, oh, I'm using this title piece, The Story of Us. That one is from Color Cast Designs. Yeah, see those pick up the colors good. And so, yeah, so we're filling in a hole with this story or like an open spot that needs to be filled. Then this one is also gonna use a Color Cast Design pit. And it's a double page photo. I tried my best to do. Um, where Miguel, for his 40th birthday, went with his friends to Chicago to see the Dolphins play, the Chicago Bears. And so fun for them. So all smiles. I like the minty green with the dolphin colors. <clears throat> and then I already pulled these cards and had this kind of cut from the bottom of one, probably from December Daily. And I was going to make it like, like a clear pocket on the photo. But this little flip out, I can talk about how, who went, why they went there. <clears throat> And then actually probably do a collage. So we'll do a collage together of some other photos because they went out to, you know, like fancy dinners and all that other stuff. We'll have that. And then this one will be uh, reflections. <laughs> I think I was still saving because I think back when she first graduated VPK, I had scrapped so many stories about her and I still had printed this one and I haven't used it and I don't want it to not go unused so i'm going to use this reflections card which i think this one was from week in the life um or was it a december daily or it might have been one little word i don't know um because what i'm trying to do now with my uh like former kits especially with my ally edwards because i've used such a good chunk of things that I hate having them still in envelopes that I'm just trying to take out everything that's not used and put like all my three by eight cards together and all my, uh, you know, th three by four and four by six. That way I just have a collection that I can pull from when I have moments like this. So of course I could have used something current. I think the current one that we have is present and there's three by eights in present. Uh, but for some reason this reflection things, and since it's a photo that's already like eight months old, maybe less than that. Um, I thought it would be nice to kind of go through reflections and kind of maybe in essence, highlight things from last year and just have this as the photo that adjoins it right now. And then I pulled out this little one called together. I think this is one that I magically got at Michael's for like a dollar and pull some of these little like, um, puffy elements, the like, um, what are those prize bows and the little hot air balloons and just kind of decorate something around here and just have this as the journaling with it those are the three layouts let's get started and I'm okay so let's get started on constructing these three layouts now i'm so happy that i get to use the back side of the shaker pocket sometimes you making a shaker element for one layout does make it hard to fill the opposite side if you know because like it's just this you know very color specific so the shaker was blues and pinks and I definitely found a photo that I could use that had also blues and pinks so that worked out uh very w with serendipity I love that word and so um yes so I've been using a color cast design title piece that says this is us for this layout and it worked out good so my sister I have a younger sister she lives in Jersey and she comes down at least twice a year, sometimes more if she can, uh, simply because obviously me and Valentina live down here and my mom lives near me now as well. They retired from New York and moved to Florida when I stayed after graduate school. So I kind, I guess I am the reason why the family you know, lives in New York, um, in Florida, at least for our parents. I do have two older brothers and my sister and they all live in New York and New Jersey still. So when my sister comes down, 
it's definitely fun and I always try to convince her to move down but she still hasn't she still lives up there and she's dealing with winter right now and we're in summer all the time so the butterfly elements are from an old studio calico collection they are acetate and they worked out perfectly as the additional embellishment for this page I do also believe the 3x4 journaling card that says summer is also studio calico and the journal card too because it was like a blue tone uh, card so all of that worked together Definitely kept the blues in mind with the shaker pocket as well as the pinks that were just mostly in our clothes. So everything I just shared with you is the journaling that you will see later on in this layout. Now this part, this 3x8 card, I did think mention that this was a 3x8 card from an Allie Edwards Week in the Life collection from last year. And I had every intention of using it as a reflection card too in my Week in the Life, um, but I just, I don't think I did. And now the card is in my stash. And I need to start organizing my extra, like not to say one-offs, but say like I have a kit and I've used everything but a few cards and everything. Like I like to deconstruct those cards into my stash. That way I can use them on projects like this when I have a photo that I don't know which album to quite put in. And like I said, I, I think I scrapped this one multiple times already because it was just a fun, proud day that now I still had one printed in my collection of photos to to scrap which I have gotten better at not over printing and so this one now will just go into the all about me album and uh, I think I mentioned I will my reflections are like highlights of the year uh, that I want to enjoy so I took the time to get 10 fun um, highlights to remember through the year and then of course it's just like my favorite photo like even this photo I have it blown up as an 8 by 10 in my daughter's room um, because it's so colorful too because I wore like this hot pink dress her cap and gown is purple and dad wore a nice blue color I mean we're a colorful family we are colorful <laughs> so now this one was perfect to like I said go into my all about me album which I'm not mad at so then I do take those puffy thickers that I had mentioned and I thought about using like the prize bows um, elements but I instead go with all of the hot air balloons so I I do believe I make a cluster of three or four of them and then I kind of scatter them around and I think I choose a, a, a sticker word as well that says memories or something like that and I'm just trying to see like where I want them and I had decide like I'm cascading them like in a diagonal from top no not even top was it top right no I don't do top right it was it was bottom right sort of in an angle to me so it's kind of like starts in Miguel's t shirt you'll st soon see and then goes down to my dress but I did like this uh, title piece that says magical moments that was what I was <laughs> going at I forgot what I had selected so that worked out perfectly in that little area of um, negative space from us and since the card of three by eight just said reflections I felt like the photo itself uh, needed a f like a title I always think that right even when I did that um, purple 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 flower layout the other day if you remember from all to new when I was doing those layered uh, dyes I even needed a, a, a title on that photo as well if you recall if you're a subscriber you know what I'm talking about hopefully and so then for the third layout we are talking about um, this awesome photo my husband went to Chicago for his 40th birthday to go watch the Dolphins play the Chicago Bears and he's always wanted to go I think it's on his bucket list to kind of see the Dolphins play in like all the stadiums across the, the United States um, he's a big football uh, fan and so this was just like a, a bucket list thing and at the time his birthday is in November so they went like early November and I tell you what he you know obviously offered babe come with me because it's my 40th birthday and I'll just let you know, like I told you I'm from New York, but I left New York and I never want to go back to cold in winter like ever again. So I stayed home. I was like, no, you guys go make it a guy's trip. You don't have to bring me to just keep it as a guy's trip. So these are his four best friends um, ever since high school. This is the squad and they do pretty much everything momentous together. Like we all have families. Uh, one of the friends has moved out of state. Um, but whenever birthdays and things come around, they are definitely always there for each other. Um, so it's good that he has, it, it's amazing that he has uh, these gentlemen in his life. And I do love them 
uh, each uh, immensely for for their impact in his life. So I wanted to have his story in our album too. So the front of the card here, I did make it like my perspective on everything I just shared, but I choose a card that says one, two, three on the inside, and I make Miguel kind of reminisce on three like highlights of the trip, and so he, it's his voice in those cards, and it turned out really great, and I made a collage of other photos he sent me, and it's just perfect. Okay, that will wrap up these three layouts, and I will um, have this one set to the side. I just kind of wanted to film this outro because I didn't sit this to glue and dry. So that will go there. I just have to add glue and then set it to the side overnight to let it dry. Um, but I did get the journaling all in here, and I actually dated it with the date that they were all in Chicago, even though it's in this album, which is okay. And then here I have one more photo from them at the game. Three more memories that Miguel gave me when I asked him. I did a collage of other photos with him and his friends, and then that finished this one off. And then the one with the shaker. Simple but beautiful. These, these butterflies really make it. I think that's an old Studio Calico collection that I had. This dried perfectly because that was the first one I did, so that one dried. Um, and then the shaker pocket with that little element from a Scrap and Happy Studio. Journaling once again on clear sticker paper. And then that one filled the hole between this one, which is fantastic. And then lastly is this one that's in my All About Me. Did all of these little embellishments. Love using some of my scrapbooking stuff here as well. It doesn't always have to just strictly be Allie Edwards. And then my 10 little reflections on the year. And I made them a little bit, you know, like facts. And then fix one about ballet. And then me just making really good chicken, roasted chicken. <laughs> how many books I read and how we enjoyed uh, the holidays, I went to a Beyonce concert, so just like little little highlights of the year. So I definitely um, like that. And that way, once I'm in here, I do believe, because I did this one recently, there are no holes here. Or are they already filled? Yeah, they're filled. So that's good. So now I can just keep on going from here on out in this All About Me album, which has plenty of room to grow. I definitely have not <laughs> been using this one but this one is nearly there this one's nearly there as well love the storytelling it's just a good formula for me and a good size i can definitely keep up with it thank you so much for joining me please subscribe if you haven't done so and until next everyone next video everyone bye